journey to technology started when I was a, a kid. I would spend nights on my trampoline out in my backyard looking at the stars and, and watching the space station pass overhead. And I had a knack for math. Um, it, it was really fun to me and, and it seemed to come pretty easily. I was really into aliens, so I kind of combined that with my, with my passion for math into aerospace engineering. There was a class uh, during college about in-space propulsion. In the last two weeks of the class talking about electric propulsion, you know, an ion engine is, is that type of propulsion, and the professor basically said, we kind of don't really understand how these technologies work. Uh, there's still a lot left to be done in, in those areas, and I was like, yes, um, that's, that's what I want to spend my life doing. Uh, so when we first started the company, we had a hunch that there would be all of these very powerful applications, but now we're seeing them actually come to life. For example, small satellites being able to provide broadband internet access to everybody on the globe, and working on a technology that can help enable that is, is extremely rewarding. But the other piece is that I think ion engines and specifically our technology actually has the ability to push humankind's knowledge of the universe forward through space exploration and interplanetary missions. So that combination is, is really magical for me. So right now I'm involved in, in two or three main things. The first one's called Youth Cities. This is middle school and high school kids working on after school engineering projects. And the goal is to provide them with entrepreneurial tools so that when they experience problems in, in life, they have the tool set to be able to, to solve those problems themselves. And another one as of more recently is called X Factor Ventures. And I joined the team as an investing partner and the team is nine women investing partners investing in women founded businesses to hopefully start to, to kind of level the playing field in terms of women entrepreneurs, but also the investors that fund those companies. I'm really honored to be the inaugural recipient of this award, and it feels really great to have recognition for the time put into mentoring other women in the field and, and doing the technology work. I think the playing field is going to continue to become more and more level for, for women to go into technology. And so having this exposure to other women that are in those roles and, and finding success and sharing their journeys, I think is probably the most critical way to get young girls to realize that it's possible.